Political exiles, symbol of refusing decrispation political exiles. Probably not the priority. No one talks about this at the summit. But elsewhere, even the villain, sick, Oatara is thinking about returning to the land of his haters. Last one on the list is Charles B. L. Gaudi. Charles B. L. Gaudi can finally return home. The ex-leader of the student youth and right arm of Laurent Gbagbo received authorization from Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara on 30 September. The information revealed by June Afrique has been confirmed by his party, the Pan-African Congress for Justice and Equality of Peoples, COJOP. This permission comes to end the suspense and doubts of the concerned person and his loved ones since his final acquittal by the International Criminal Court, IC, for crimes against humanity and the receipt of his ordinary passport last May. Now it's only Charles B. L. Gaudet to set the date of his return to the country, and it would be the ninth return of political exiles or haters of Adu, in any case the most reluctant, after that of his idol Laurent Gbagbo in June 2021. A plethora of political exiles in Togo it does exist in Togo. The newest one is probably Agbiome Kojo former Prime Minister and candidate of Dynamics Monsignor Podro, DMK, for president on the 22nd of February. 2020 pays for his protest of the results and the proclaimed victory of Four Nassing Bay. After the removal of his immunity from MP on 16 March, 2020, the title of democratically elected president of Togo has been arrested and brought to justice. For his release, he was imposed on several conditions, including a prohibition from challenging the results of the election, but he violated the ban in an interview and was forced to take his legs around his neck. An international arrest warrant will be issued against him in July. Since then, man wanders around the world, at least far from his homeland, in a cornfield. He is still in exile with his spiritual father MGR Philip Fanocote Podro, even though in the regime sets his ten fingers on fire and insinuating that the prelate is not outside because of the fault of the power in place. Tick P. Achidam, he has been paying his, sick, ass of 2017. Protests, there were some before that year, but the diet has never been this shaky. The protests initiated by the head of the Pan-African National Party, PNP, had this in particular that they embraced the whole country and even the diaspora. The synergy created with the rest of the opposition through the coalition of 14 parties, C14, had doped the mobilization and power had just about to fall. Four Nassing Bay was saved from justice thanks to the combined effects of the opposition's cunning and naivety. For the clan in power, such audacity is punishable. Unlike the case of Agbiome Kojo, despite being accused of terrorism, jihadism and treatment of all names of birds, Tik P. Achidam is formally prosecuted and no arrest warrant has been issued against him. But he'd become a menace his life was in danger, he had to take the scam pet powder and hasn't been back for five, zero five, years. Francois Boko, the former Minister of the Interior and Security, has been in exile since 2005. He has committed no crime, against the law. His only sin is to have dared to alert the world, following Iadima's death in 2005 and in the face of the alarming signals that marked the electoral process for the election of his successor, about the danger that was looming. His surprise resignation less than 48 hours from the polls was poorly digested by the regime. He had become a target to be shot down. Impossible for the Western chancelleries to protect it in Lomé. That's when his exfiltration took place. For 17, 17, years, the former police officer has been living in exile became a lawyer at the Paris Bar, he conducts consultations for the benefit of the UN structures. Meanwhile, he had wanted to return to the country and had contributed to the great Western powers. Everything was negotiated with the Lomé regime, but at the last moment, the power did vault face on the background of threats. This is how Francois Bocco was kept in exile. Olivier Amma, Coffee County, the list of Togolese exiles is long. For Nassing Bay is indifferent to the fate of all this beautiful world, in fact kept in exile by the regime that does nothing for their return. In some cases, he even opposes it. Bad publicity and denial of political decency. Alassane Ouattara is far from a virtue signaling paragon. He is even one of the leaders of the Akawio area or of the entire continent, for his real or supposed links to Paris. It's enough to see the reactions of internet users on social networks to his position on the question of the Frank CFA, in the Malian file, in particular of the 49 Ivorian soldiers, to realize it. The Ivorian leader has every reason to keep these political actors away from the Ivory Coast, as he does by the way to his former running boy, sick, and armed rebel Guillaume Soro. Gbagbo, B.L. Gaudé fought him with guns, his supporters were, also, killed. But the evil Ayatara even sometimes paints like a monster, sick, still has heart, even if his actions are not devoid of interest or political calculations. Indeed, 
whether it's Laurent Gbagbo, Charles B. L. Gaudet or other pardoned figures of the former regime including Simone Gbagbo, Alassane Ayatara intends to use them for the purposes of national reconciliation. This is the deal that was offered to Gbagbo to favor his return to the country, and certainly to B. L. Gaudet as well. This was even reflected in the statement released by his party announcing the good news of his permission to return. As soon as he returns, the president of the Kojuk intends to take all his place, to fully play his part in the reconciliation process underway in our country, Ivory Coast, says a signed statement from the Kojuk spokesman, Dr. P. Actress Serica. Pulling the political dividends is what Alassane Drame Nyatara is doing when returning to the country of Ivorian political exiles, in particular those actors who wanted his power and should always want him. For Nassing Bay could also do the same by allowing or favoring the return of Togolian political exiles. This would contribute greatly to the decrispation of the political climate. While he illustrates himself singing peace by playing the mediator in the Malian crisis and in particular in the case of the 49 Ivorian soldiers, it would be a good signal that would nicely marry this new position. But he doesn't have a cure. Much more, his regime stands against their return. The evident evidence is the case of François Boko, prevented at the last moment from returning in 2020. What about Agbio Mkojo and Tikpi Achadam cases? Seems to be the arrangement to keep his opponents in exile or jail. Even those who have not been exiled and remained in the country are not free to carry out their political activities, facing obstacles of all sorts. So this is the Four Nassing Bay method, the Togo alternative.